What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 most insane YouTuber secrets. It's been a while since we made a video about YouTubers and I know you guys love them so if we can get 7,500 likes on this video I'll make a video about the top 10 highest paid YouTubers of all time. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go enter my huge giveaway with Trend Crave, Top Trends, and so many more. We're giving away thousands of dollars worth of stuff, so check it out. Link is down in the description below. With that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5. The Leafy Is Here STD Scandal This one is pretty weird, and it was revealed publicly by Keemstar. Apparently, according to Keemstar's tweets, Leafy went to the Netherlands and had sex with a hooker and got genital warts because of that. Now Leafy hasn't confirmed anything and I'm sure he's probably just ignoring it hoping it'll go away, but Keem constantly barrages Leafy calling him Wart Dick Boy and a lot of other really disgusting names. He even made a video about it so I'll go ahead and play that now. My name, making up a bunch of shit, lying to your stupid fucking fans, and you know what? I can't remember calling you a virgin, but if I did, I'm sorry, you're not a virgin because you told me yourself that you went to Amsterdam and fucked a bunch of hookers and you got warts on your dick. So you're not a virgin. I stand corrected. I apologize. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to I'm going to start off my video saying, "Hi, Wart Dick Boy here." I'll say it ironically as a joke so 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 people stop picking on me for it. If cuz if I call myself Wart Dick Boy, then people won't be able to pick on me about it cuz that's his tactic every fucking time. That's why he calls himself a cyber bully so you can't call him a cyber bully that's this kid's fucking tactic so i guarantee he's probably gonna start calling himself number four vitaly porno so i put this on the list because vitaly actually made a huge response video to this which was so inspiring that i wanted to share it with you guys so to explain the backstory vitaly moved from russia when he was a kid so not being able to speak english gave him a huge disadvantage growing up when he was older, he had a really mean stepdad, and he had a horrible life until his friend gave him the opportunity to be in a porno where he could earn just enough money to move him and his mom away from the stepdad. He explains a lot more about that in his video, but honestly, serious props to him for overcoming such a huge struggle in life. And then my mom, I had to see my mom get beat up. I did what I could. I stood up for her, but he was just unstoppable. So yeah, one of my Russian homeboys one day calls me up and goes, uh, want to shoot for Bang Bros? At this point, I was a waiter and I was desperate for money. I had to move out. So I had to do it. Number three, SS Sniper Wolf arrested for armed robbery. One of the most famous girl gaming YouTubers, Sniper Wolf and her boyfriend Sausage was actually arrested for those who don't know. You're probably thinking they got into like a fight or arrested for something stupid, but they actually got arrested for armed robbery. The story goes is that they were shopping in a mall when some random guy came up to them and grabbed Sniper Wolf. They obviously fought back thinking it was like some sort of robber or predator or something like that, but it turned out to be an undercover cop who suspected they were stealing from the store. Obviously, they were both arrested and had to fight it in court, but for some reason, instead of being let free as they were supposedly innocent, they got one year of probation and the actual crime of armed robbery on their record. Do you think that means that they actually tried stealing something? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Prank vs Prank Jesse has a kid Two months ago, Jesse from Prank vs Prank tweeted out that he has a daughter that doesn't know he's her father. Now, if you know Jesse, you know that he was dating Gina for close to 10 years, and apparently his daughter is 14 years old, so it had to be with someone else. It's really crazy to think how big of a thing this is, because to have a child and not tell over 10 million people who view your life daily is insane to think about. What's even crazier about this is apparently his daughter watches his videos or something like that, so to think you could be watching your dad every single day and not know it's actually your dad is just so weird. I don't think I should talk about it yet until I find out everything. But I can assure you it's not a prank. It's not fake. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it right now. Or I'll talk about it. Fuck it. Who cares? When I was 19 years old, when I was 19 years old, before I joined the military, I had a girlfriend. She used to tell me she couldn't get pregnant. She used to say, I can't get pregnant. I can't get pregnant. I'm 19 years old and I'm naive. I listen to her. So I would do what you would do to get someone pregnant all the time because she said I can't. So I would do it. 19 years old and stupid. I went into the military. And I'm not going to say a story. I'm going to I can't. I can't say it. 
It's a crazy story. Number one, Keemstar abuses his wife. So this next one is completely all about your opinion, so it could be true or false, and it's really up to the viewer to decide what's real. When Keemstar was getting exposed by Leafy, Grade, and so many more, one huge thing that they tried to say was that Keemstar abuses his wife. Some of these tweets. My name is DJ Keemstar, and I like to physically and emotionally abuse my girlfriend. I just stabbed my girlfriend in the cheek with her own car keys. This is actually from his girlfriend who has lived through hell. So apparently, there's proof that he's a woman beater as well. The allegations go that Keemstar attacked her with a set of car keys and apparently she got so mad that she went on his Twitter and tweeted about it. The proof that it was actually her though is that when you tweet it, it logs the place you tweeted it from, so if he was hacked, it would show somewhere he didn't live. Now obviously the tweet showed where he did live and that's proof enough for people to accuse Keem that he did indeed abuse his wife. Now Keemstar has completely denied all these allegations and even brought on his ex-wife to say that he never did any of those things. So once again, it's totally up to you to decide whether he's innocent or guilty. Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm Dan's girlfriend, otherwise known as Keemstar. And I just wanted to let everyone know that he definitely 100% does not hit me. Um, and it's pretty ridiculous that everyone's making these accusations. Um, I was never on his Twitter. And if he ever did hit me or anything like that, me and my daughter would not be living with him. Grade A under A has lied and twisted the truth to suit his own purposes. So anyways, that's our list of the top five most insane YouTuber secrets. Be sure to let us know in the comment section if you guys have any video suggestions you'd like to see in the future and we might just do them. Also, if you haven't already, we'd recommend you subscribe so you never miss out on one of our top five videos. But either way, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.